Hi, I'm Dr. Libby Kim Karen. This is the next chapter of Tame Your Brain. And we're going to zoom in more now on those really useful things that we need to know for this next crazy phase that we're going through. Uh, I've been quiet for a while because I had a poorly cat and delighted to say just got mummy home from the hospital today. So all is well. And we're seeing our little kittens today as they discover uh, a new playground. However, I think they might actually be conked out. I'm not sure, we'll see, we'll see how entertaining they're gonna be today as we swing our camera around and have a look at where we are. There's Mummy, who has made it back home, which is brilliant. So we're talking today more about the business side of things, more about this idea of what do we need for this new disrupted economy? How are we going to adjust to those changes that are gonna be there? There's some predictions that are suggesting redundancies are gonna be as high as 20%. There's some suggestion that we're going to have to adapt to either working from home or some sort of split for the next six months to at least. So what are you gonna do? What skills are you gonna need for that? And what's gonna become most important? I'd like to suggest that one of the things that we can all do better in is communication. And no matter what we think we can do or how good we think we are, it's one of those things you can always get better at. And within the powers that we have of communication, we've got what we naturally do. Everyone's got what we call flow, a natural style of things that they're good at. So the concept of flow is a huge one. I've just finished recording a piece for the Global Veterinary Careers Summit, which is called Find Your Flow. And this summit, for any of you that don't know, it's a fantastic event that's taking place across three time zones, um, America, Australia and UK. And there are 156 speakers going. I've got two slots in there. And Find Your Flow links to everything we do. You've got to understand what you do well it may not be the same thing that other people do well, and therefore talking their language is something intrinsic to the power of communication. For example, steel types tend to be all about process rather than people. So you can massively disrupt their day if as a blaze type where you're more about people and story, you disregard their processes, you don't do what they've asked you to do. And as a blaze to you, people are way more important than process. What, like, why are you even asking me? What? Surely people are more important. Like we think like we think because of the way our brains are organised. And there's four quadrants. The dynamos are very different again. Dynamos are all about the creation energy and that power to innovate. But don't ask them to run a project or keep to a timeline or indeed even finish anything off because they just can't do it. They're just not as good at that. It's not their flow. So dynamos are in flow when they have something to create and something to nurture initially, but then they just need to hand it over. And when they hand it over, they get back in flow by creating the next thing. And their key word is, is what? So when we talk about being in your flow and, and what's gonna happen in this next patch of our disrupted economy, we've gotta be really aware of what we're gonna be able to naturally gravitate towards. So for example, dynamos are very quick to change tack. What's new, what's next are their key questions. So they've adapted quite well so far. Do you know when they're gonna crash? When everything calms down because they thrive on that adrenaline rush of high frequency activity. When we get slow and dull, then we get in trouble. But in terms of what happens in our brains, we don't realize we're in trouble. We just feel a bit flat or we feel a bit like meh. So watch out for that guys, because if you find yourself out of flow, you will feel like that without understanding why. And flow is a big concept. As I say, there's a book that's amazing called The Optimal of psychological experience by um, a guy whose name I'm not even gonna give to you now, I'm gonna type it in the text because I always say it wrong. Um, but look it up because it's how you're gonna survive this next patch of the disrupted economy and get through it okay is by remembering to stay in flow for 80% of your day. There are gonna be times we have to do things that aren't in our flow, that's normal. But what we must do is recognize how the changing situation affects us. So let's go back to our blazes who are all about connection. They have really suffered with the lack of people connection, the lack of hugs. You know, when a blaze turns up somewhere, I just hug them because it makes them feel better. It, it doesn't matter why, but they need that contact, they need humans. They've benefited by the increase of Zoom, but they've struggled because it's not the same as they're used to. Tempos, a completely different type of energy. They're all about timing and they're very kinesthetic and they're very earthy. So they've really benefited from having more time to do things, but equally they've struggled because it's unannounced change they're really hacked off with the world right now and now we're about to change again and so our tempos are going to get even more hacked off 
Then we've got our steels who, you know, they, they love a system, but their desire is to fix everything. They want to be the mechanic that fixes. So open the bonnet, let me tweak, let me mend this thing. They're going to get really cross at those people going back in and breaking the processes. You know, in, in particularly in the vet world that I've come from, those people that have spent the last three months building processes, those furloughers are coming back and they're probably not going to know what to do. And their beloved job is very different than it was. So they're, if they're tempo, they've lost that sense of security. If they're dynamo, they'll probably roll with it. Blazers will just be delighted to be in a room where they can have tea and cake with everyone again. But those steels are going to really struggle. So we've got to look at our team. We've got to look at where are the stress points? Where are those points which are going to create the angst that we are very likely to see over the next couple of months. So I did a webinar for um, the BVNA on this just last week and I think it's had about a couple of thousand views which is fantastic for people to, to start getting an idea of this before it kicks off. Because guys, here's the thing, if we don't manage our state, if we don't manage our brain waves, then things are less easy for us and the trouble is you don't know you're going to crash until you do. So just put in a little bit of prep, just put in a little bit of um, thought around where are your stress points. If you don't know your flow, then please come to me. I've got an offer on my newsletter at the moment. So you can sign up for my newsletter on my website, which is chemcaron.com, and you get a tasty little 20% off getting your own profile done so you can find out your flow. And that's something that I'd really urge you to do because it helps you, it helps you navigate the world knowing why you do what you do and why you're no good at some bits. And by the way, there's no wrong profile. There's no like, oh, this is better than others. It's part of a team. It's part of a, a, a joint thing with your partner, with your kids. There are things that you just resonate to and things that you just do really well because they're in your flow and they will make you happy and you'll do them easily and gracefully. The other things will stress you out and drain your gas tank. And you just need to recognize which of those the task is before you decide how much time to spend on it. If it's a task that's completely out of your flow, and I'll do a whole session on this um, in a couple of days time. But anything out of your flow, you need to minimize, set a timer, put a 45 minute on it and just stop at the end of that and walk away because you will drain yourself otherwise. So for me, that's things like filing, that's things like accounts or buy and help, get somebody else to help you to do it. Because if it's not your flow, don't waste your time there. You won't be as productive, you won't be as useful and you won't be as helpful to the world as if you're in your flow. Because the glorious thing about flow is the more you do it, the better you get at those things that the world will reward you for because opportunities just come your way and it becomes second nature when you're, when you're firmly in your flow. So I'm going to finish there for today. I'm going to just say that for those of you that haven't yet joined um, my newsletter, please do because I'm going to start being a lot more proactive actually connecting with you if you want to um, join in with the discussion as well on my Facebook page. I love getting feedback. I love hearing what it is you want to cover. I'm still planning to do, by the way, a, a spot on managing chronic pain and things that are to do with uh, how we get our brain, our crazy brain, to be more tame. And I'm going to come back and do that for you, hopefully tomorrow, um, depending on how the kitties are. I think everyone's healthy now, so we should be back on track to do a few more of these before they go to their forever homes and we meet the next little gang of furries. So thanks for watching. Please go to my website, kimcaron.com, sign up there. You can also buy tickets for the Global Veterinary Career Summit if that's something you want to get on board with. Um, 156 speakers over three different time zones and loads of interaction on there. So thanks for coming back. Nice to see you all and see you again soon. Bye.